Alright, well I'm supposed to be going to photograph black grouse. However, on my way to try and photograph black grouse, I've just spotted something. So I'm going to go over and have a look and see if I can get something else. Another bird that starts with the red. And is flying around with some beautiful light behind it next to a small road. So I'm going to head over and see if I can connect with uh, one of our newcomers to the area. About six, seven years ago, um, a new species of bird started showing up in Angus, where I live. And is now becoming quite regular, and that is the, the red kite. Now, I'm gonna just pull over to the side here, and oh, this is gonna be a interesting one for the light and why are you messing me about right Where are you bird? Where are you? I'm afraid it is quite distant. But let's have a look. The exposure's not bad. Where have you gone? Where are you, bird? Yeah, it's too far away. Beautiful to see. Absolutely stunning to see. But you are a bit far away. However, there's some lovely sky behind you. Oh, you're a beautiful bird. Flying towards me quite nicely. Again, fortunately, it's against a bit of a boring sky. Well, oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm watching a red kite through the sunroof. Ah, oh, you're a gorgeous bird. It used to be that to see these you had to go to one of the sort of kite centres or maybe the Black Isle. And they have returned to Angus. They are now breeding close to where I live. I now actually have them on my garden list. And yeah, a distraction but a welcome one. And while I'm here, I think I'm going to have to get out and take a few landscapes. Because this is it's a beautiful day. Right, I'm going to change over and do some landscapes.
Right, this isn't pretty classic photography, but that red grout kite is back. So this is um, this is the Glen, and it's a small road that goes up into the hills in Tayside, up into the moors, and at the moment it is a riot of purple. Now I'm sorry about this, but I won't be giving away the location. There are roads like this all over the upland areas of Britain, and any one of them is excellent for photographing black grouse and red grouse sorry if you just look on on the map and try and find these little sort of roads that head into the hills um you've got a good chance of finding red grouse which is what i'm looking for at the moment so yeah i won't be giving the location away i've been a bit careful not to give too many sort of big landscapes or big clues um, but yeah, find find somewhere and start working there. The reason that I don't want to give the location away is purely that there are people who live and work here and it's a single track road and I don't want them to be inconvenienced by even more people like me who suddenly screech to a halt on a bend and try and take photos. Um, so yeah, so please be considerate. but. Yeah, let's see whether we can find some of these grouse. Now I have to say it is late August. It is past the 12th of August. So, hmm, maybe tricky. However, people don't tend to shoot around the edge of the road. They tend to be up in the hills. So down here, you can still find quite a lot of grouse that haven't been spooked or shot. So I'll report back when I see something. Aha, here we go. Got a lovely covey of grouse. I'm somewhere reasonably okay to park. So this is what I'm looking at. Red grouse in the heather. That's what I was looking for. Beautiful. Because that's just a small group of them. My apologies, I've forgotten the beanbag. So I'm just straight onto the car window, which isn't ideal. However, this is, yeah, beautiful bird. Is the red grouse. And I love these images in amongst the, in amongst the heather. So I will, if we get some, checking the road, making sure there's nobody coming out of the way. Don't you love it when a plan comes together?
everywhere. <laughs> So yeah, there are lots of red grouse here, including some rare ones, such as this one. This one is a rare, no-beaked red grouse. It isn't really, it's just that they genuinely do have eyes in the back of their head for spotting predators. Oh, that's quite nice. Shall I? Ooh, no, let's carry on. Um, as well as giving me that very odd picture, um, it turned around and did something I've never seen a red grouse do, which is show that it does actually have a crest, uh, which is this shot here. And yeah, a bit special. I uh, call the red grouse I love as well. I think they're such a charismatic little bird. Yeah, not that little, I suppose. Um, they're so charismatic. They're early risers, you can hear them giving their display flights all through the night. Quite often when I'm setting up to photograph black grouse, I can hear them all around me giving that distinctive call. Um, yeah, they're a, a real character. Right, I'm gonna carry on and I'll report back if I see anything. Oh, the weather's turned, it's now raining. It looked as though it was going to, and it has. I had a quick drive on the Glen, and it's quite remarkable some of the changes that have happened in recent years. Um, red kites, non-existent 10 years ago. They just weren't in the area. And now we're seeing quite a lot of them. And even more remarkable, considering this is basically a sporting estate really managed for shooting grouse on the the road ahead of me i just had a pair of ravens no question huge ravens feeding on the remains of a a rabbit i think it was um and fairly cool when they flew off they didn't sort of fly off in a, a panic they circled around behind the car and obviously just waiting for me to, to carry on. So we now have ravens on this grouse moor as well. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm sort of on my way back out. I better get home. This is only a sort of a, a morning trip into the hills to get some photos. So better get home and do some work. Um, but yeah, I'll keep going and I may report back if I see anything interesting. And we have a red grouse right to the side of the car right now. In fact, is that a red grouse? behind I've got a delivery van a few miles ahead but so I'm just filming this now Just starting to wander away. Ha! Nice end to the trip. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little trip into the hills.